Welcome back to the next instalment of 10 for 10. This is a series from Watch Gecko that sets out to inform you, the viewer, of 10 watches branching over 10 different categories that combined offer an extremely versatile, enjoyable and rounded collection. Altogether, coming in at a value less than £10,000. Some watches may be more expensive, some may be extremely affordable, but altogether they will collectively cost less than £10,000. Stay tuned to the channel for regular new episodes, as well as the Watch Gecko blog for further coverage of each watch featured. Links will be in the description below. It is not uncommon to come across a watch collection that doesn't feature an adventure watch. Naturally, either the diver, beta or even the field watch all share similar traits that may result in it seeming like you wouldn't need to add one to the wrist rotation. However, adventure watches have an irresistible simplicity to them. They are real pieces of kit that are equally as important and dependable as a good quality pair of hiking boots or a lightweight down jacket. In fact, many of the qualities of said kit are similar traits to an adventure watch, making them a solid addition to a collection. The Black Bay 58 takes inspiration from the Tudor 7924 Big Crown Diver, released in, you guessed it, 1958. Tudor's history of diving watches since then has been well documented, so they are more than qualified to be releasing another one. This 2018 release was easily one of the biggest of the year, with a lot of the watch world pleasantly surprised. The Black Bay range has been an immensely popular watch ever since it was released in 2012. However, one feature mentioned in almost all reviews that concerned people the most was the watch's dimensions, specifically the thickness. Fortunately, in March 2018, Tudor responded to this with the introduction of a smaller and more importantly, slimmer model of their ever popular diver. A question you may have in the back of your mind right now is, well, this is a diving watch, how is it an adventure watch? Stick around and I'll explain. Coming in at 39mm wide, with a thickness of just 11.9mm and a lug to lug of 47mm, it's fair to say the proportions on the new case of the Black Bay have vast appeal. When looking down on said case head on, you'll notice the lugs are fully brushed. However, a slight turn of the wrist will show off its fully polished sides and edges. This is something we see continued down to the bracelet. The brushed oyster style bracelet with faux rivets and polished sides is nothing new for the Black Bay range. However, a new lug width of 20mm is very welcomed from us. The full size Black Bay comes with an anodized 60 click aluminium bezel with red tip and once again we see this on the 58. However, we now see the gilt details extended from the dial to the bezel, further bringing attention to the watch's clear attempt to build on Tudor's rich history. On the topic of gilt, the dial on the 58 feels very familiar, with a matte black dial, gilt coloured seconds track and logo, with gold coloured hands and indices, completing this symmetrically piece perfectly. All of these details are viewed through a low domed sapphire crystal, minimalising any added bulk. And the impressiveness doesn't stop there for the 58, as a brand new in-house movement can be found sitting in the well-proportioned watch. The MT5402 movement is a new automatic in-house mechanical movement from Tudor, with some undoubtedly impressive stats. This COSC certified movement boasts 70 hours of power reserve and features a silicon balance spring for good measure. Naturally, this 200m water-resistant watch comes with a guardless screw-down crown complete with Tudor rose and circular satin brushed steel winding crown tube. So, how do the new dimensions in the Black Bay 58 translate to actual wearability on the wrist? It all sounds ideal on paper, but can it really be that good? Short answer, yes, it's great. The thickness is just what it should be, not too thick to be carrying excess bulk, but not too thin either. The bezel is simply one of the best on the market, it's incredibly easy to turn on or off the wrist, with the added bonus of that solid confirmation click once the bezel is reset back to 12. Spending some time with the 58, the overall impressive quality of the watch simply shines through. The long logs on the watch really emphasise the watch's commanding presence on the wrist. However, one thing to note here is the fact that the Black Bear 58 doesn't get run away with itself, as the overall dimensions of the watch work well to retain the balance of the piece. The overriding impression the 58 leaves you with is its subtle, tasteful approach to a tool watch. As always with Tudor, they have gone the extra mile to really ensure the Black Bay 58 appeals to a wide range of customers, considering the full spectrum of tastes and preferences. Available on the Oyster River bracelet, leather or a nylon NATO, Tudor put a strong case across by showing off the watch's versatility. With this in mind, let's take a look at some straps. The Vintage Kudu Strap by Gakota. This new strap in the Gakota line takes what our existing Simple Handmade does and offers something just a little bit different. The extremely soft and durable leather has been expertly tanned here in England. 
Combine this with a soft chocolate brown suede lining and you're left with a combo which you really won't want to change. The Swiss Style NATO by Zulu Diver. A classic and regular strap for the Watch Gecko YouTube channel, but the Swiss Style NATO is the go-to NATO if you want a sporty look that plays on a watch's practicality. The desert sand option here picks up on the gilt colouring on the 58 perfectly. Once the strap is fitted to this watch, you really start to understand why this is the desert sand. The Zulu Diver 400 Mark II. Finally, we have a rubber alternative. The 400 rubber from our Zulu Diver range has been with us for years. However, it's only recently the Mark II has arrived. The buckle now fitted to these straps is an incredibly solid stainless steel piece combining brushed and polished finishes to give it a much more rugged look. Six micro adjustments can be found on this new buckle as well, ensuring you can get the perfect fit. As you probably know by now, this is the time in the video where we talk about things we would change on the Black Bow 58. Let's get into it. Number one, more color options. Going for a black diving watch for your introductory model is nothing new for the watch world, so very much expected from Tudor. However, for me, I'd love to see a bit more color in the range. If we were to look at the original 41mm diver as a guide, we should expect a red bezel and a blue option in the near future. Similarly, I'd love a green bezel or even a fully stainless steel option like the one we saw on the Black Bay Chrono back in 2017. Sticking with the bezel, a little bit less gilt. This is something when Ben and I first saw the watch at Baselworld, I instantly felt quite strongly about. As time has gone on and I've handled more and more 58s, it's become less strong. However, a bezel colour closer to the 41mm would be great to see. Failing that, some more colours as previously mentioned. Coloured tubing around the crown. This was a feature I was surprised to see dropped on the 58. The coloured tubing usually matches the bezel colour and is normally a great little additional feature on the Black Bay lineup. However, the 58 has decided to drop this and stick with a clean aesthetic. There really isn't much more I'd like different. When I covered the full size Black Bay Diver, the thickness was the only substantial change I felt the watch needed. And now that has been updated, I think this watch is pretty close to perfect. So, why the 58? Well, adventure watches are simply pure tools. They're essential pieces of kit which are required to complete a job. Without them, tasks become a lot more difficult to overcome. They are designed and produced to be used. With this in mind, I think it's time for a confession. Realistically, I could have chosen any Black Bay from the Tudor range for this suggestion. They're all equally as tough, durable, well-built and dependable as each other. However, the 58's more desirable slim proportions, useful rotating bezel, simple symmetrical bare essentials design, all result in a watch which is addictive to look at on your wrist. And if a watch makes you feel that way, it doesn't get much better than that. The Tudor Black Bay 58 is currently available starting from £2,340. To find out more, we'll leave a link in the description below. Stay tuned to the channel for the next episode of 10 for 10 where we explore another great watch that is perfect in creating a well-rounded collection.